Hey everybody, welcome back to the homestead. Today, I wanna to show you what's in my pockets. So a good go-to video when a, when a YouTuber doesn't have much time or energy to make any videos is an EDC video. Uh, and today seems like a good day for that. It's uh, about 106 outside. I had a project in mind, but uh, after working all week in the heat, I just kind of felt like, uh, let's just kind of chill and sit inside, enjoy the air conditioning, and maybe come out and do a quick little video for y'all. So today I want to show you my EDC. Let's get started. All right, first things first, I got to carry this somehow. So you may notice that in most of my videos, actually pretty much all of them, I think for maybe one, I wear these pants. I have multiple pairs of these pants. What they are is uh, like, how do you put them? Uh, rent, rental pants or fleet pants that I bought used online. Uh, these are Cintas brand. You have all sorts of different brands that you can get, but uh, these are typically like um, ambulance or I wore the, I originally got started on these when I was driving tow truck. They issued these style pants to me and I actually just fell in love with them and wore them ever since and ordered more online. Uh, they're cargo because as you'll notice, I carry a lot of stuff around and they just are thin so I can wear them all, all seasons. They just, uh, they work really, really well. So that is how I carry all this jazz. Uh, we'll start with the small things first. Keys to the truck. I try and keep it simple and easy. Um, just the ignition, the fob, and then all the um, keys for my toolboxes or my hitch lock, and then a pry, pry tool, which comes in pretty handy. Uh, basically just use that end. Oh, and the hook. Um, this hook's okay. I, they have ones now that have like a little plastic uh, guard that goes on there that keeps it from unlocking because I do sometimes lose the fob in, in my pocket or sometimes it's actually fell on the ground, but that's that. Uh, let's see. These days you have to have this. Uh, it's a mask <laughs> or they call them gaiters, I guess. It's basically just a tube that I overpaid for that uh, put around my neck and um, keeps me from breathing moistly on people. So that's pretty nice. Ah. <clears throat> I always carry a pencil. Uh, it's just something, being a carpenter, I've just always got one in my pocket. It comes in handy. Instead of running to the bags and grabbing a pencil, uh, I just always kind of have one in the pocket. You can tell it's all beat up and been around, been in there for a while, and then it'll get a little bit shorter and then I'll throw it away. Now this, this one, uh, the story, a flashlight. Um, I have, I've had this flashlight originally, and then I also have kids, and now I can't find my old one that's just like this. I'm pretty sure I'm going to find it in a week or so. But this is a uh, Coast HX5. It's pretty cool. It's got a uh, focusing beam here. It's pretty strong. Runs off a single AA, which is handy. Uh, I keep AA's in the truck at all times. And then it's got this little clip here so I can... Uh, Put it on the hat which that works out really nice when i need it and just a covered button here so you're not pushing it accidentally in in the pocket or anything like that so yeah that's uh i always have that in my pocket the nice part about these pants too is they have really deep pockets so this stuff just doesn't really bother me too much the knife um i think Everyone should carry a knife. This is my personal favorite. Uh, this is a Benchmade 915 triage. Uh, funny story, not that funny. It's actually kind of sad. I had a knife just like this, pretty much the same, other than it was a um, no, non serrated. And I was at the gas station and it was another hot day and I sliced open a bag of ice to put in the cooler and I set this down on the bed rail just like that, and then dumped my ice in the cooler, hopped in the truck, and drove away. And that was the last time I seen that knife. Um, so, 
Benchmade actually quit making this knife before I had um, lost the other one, but we went to Benchmade in Oregon City and they rummaged around and found one of these in their back stock and I'm really happy with it. I just love the feel and the, the heft and, and everything about this knife. Um, they do make a new, their new model is a 917, but it just, it just didn't feel the same. I guess it's just because I'm used to this one, having it for so many years. The knurling on this is just so tough and um, the other one's actually just as good, but I don't know. I just got stuck on this one. I mean, Benchmade makes a great knife. They're no, no cheap date, but I carry this everywhere and I take it with me every day and I just want something that I can trust and um, just feels good to me. <clears throat> uh, one, some things about this knife, it's got a uh, hook on it for cutting seat belt. It is like a, um, a rescue model knife. Uh, so it's got the hook for seat belt cutting and also a glass break here. Um, to tell you the truth, I've never used these things, but I always like to be prepared and it's just really just a good, the knife itself is just good. It is extremely dull at this point, which my grandma would say you could ride it to town. So I'll probably throw it on the sharpener tonight, but yeah, that's the knife. Never leave home without it. Oh, uh, let's see, what else do we got here? Uh, I am a money clip man. Um, I guess I never really carried a wallet. Um, maybe when I was a kid in high school, I just had my uh, ID or my badge in there or whatever, your school ID or whatever. But once I got out in the real world, I switched over to money clips. Um, I, I don't really like having things in my back pocket. Even when I get in the truck, I take the cell phone out, put it in the dash. Uh, it's, they're just convenient. I mean, I can stack a whole bunch of cards in there and then a bunch of money. Uh, I always carry cash around because you never know when you're going to need it. And it, uh, a lot of times, you know, I go to the store and the cards aren't working these days. So it's just always good to have a little bit of cash around. It's a pretty simple carry other than a lot of it's pretty bulky. Oh, <clears throat> Another thing that always winds up in my pocket is drivers for my uh, impact gun. Uh, this is kind of an odd one. I usually don't carry a 3 8 around. It's usually a Phillips or a Torx bit. But what ended up happening is I had this on the gun, the, the impact gun. I took it off, put it in my pocket, and grabbed the Phillips that was in there and swapped it out. But for some reason, I always have um, impact driver bits in my pocket. And that's no different today. Oh, and then we get to my most important tool, I would say, the phone. I actually just uh, switched from 7 to the S20. Uh, I'm an Android person. The reason I actually went, this is an S20 Plus. The reason I actually went with this is for this reason, is so I can use it for filming. The camera is extremely good and that was why i did that let's see if i can switch the camera here hey there it is that is why i switched over to the s20 I, it's amazing because i had that old phone for four years and you don't even um once i got this phone it's like geez i was living in the stone age compared to just the the camera and the speed and, and everything about it and enough about that but yeah it's just uh much different and the camera it was one of the main reasons i got it so that i can do this thing do do youtube stuff with it so we'll end with the accessories that go with the phone and that would be headphones um, when i'm working i'm usually by myself and i like to listen to podcasts you know your joe rogan's your uh, armstrong and gettys and just all your different podcasts Oh, business Wars, I've been on that one recently. So yeah, I just um, always have headphones. I'll probably end up at some point getting a, uh, what do you call it, Bluetooth set, wireless. Yeah, that's uh, that's all my toys. This is what I carry around every day. Yeah, and that. 
so that's what's in my pockets. Oh, you know what? I almost forgot. Sunglasses, they're always with me. Um, these are native brand. I found these at like a, a sports place once. Picked them up and they're just like so lightweight, not even there. Um, they are lifetime warranty, which is one thing that I like to buy. And I've, this is probably my third pair. I uh, ran over a pair once and stepped on another pair. And you uh, send in the old pieces of the other one and they'll send you back a new pair. So yeah, native glasses. I've always enjoyed them a lot. Uh, if you, I'll put links to this stuff, no reason, but uh, just so you can kind of check them out. Yeah, that's what's in my pocket. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.